Hello, just another quick video here. I want to show you how I'm going to deglaze this brake rotor. Now I've got it in the sun here so you can see. See this glaze all around here? And it's on both sides. On both sides, it's really bad. So, and I'm getting serious brake issues where I'm getting kind of wobbling and grabbing and stuff like that. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray this with brake cleaner and you're going to notice this stuff does not come off right away. So what I'm going to do is, spider, I'm going to go ahead and hit this with a wire brush on a drill. Try to get some of this off. The alternative would be to take it into a shop or a park store and get the... Uh, get the brakes turned, the rotors turned, or replace the rotors with brand new ones. Replacing with brand new ones is expensive. Getting them turned is a little cheaper, but it's about half as much. And it's, uh, it's not coming off very well. So, I'm going to go ahead and get a rag and wipe this while I'm doing this. Spray it again. Give this another quick shot of this. Hopefully it'll break some of that loose. Just don't want the stuff to dry back on there, to harden back on. Now it's pretty, pretty nasty. Let's keep it going here. Gonna hit this again with the wire wheel. The wire cup, I guess. Now I'm not taking enough surface off to cause it to, to, you know, have any kind of irregularity to the surface. So as long as I'm doing a kind of nice even cleaning on this, hopefully it will uh, we'll get most of this off in an even fashion. Because anything uneven on here, like let's say. For example, you clean one side a little better than the other, you're going to get strobing from this brake. It's going to grab, release, grab, release. It's going to grab, slip, grab, slip, grab, slip. And that's going to cause all kinds of problems with your braking. So, this is, uh, this car sat for a while. And as you can see, it actually looks like maybe it had the brake pad sitting here. You can actually see where the brake pad was on the rotor. Um, you know, this is not working so well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try hitting it with a light sandpaper. Let's try that. Got a little bit of 600 grit sandpaper here. Now again, I want to be careful that I'm doing a nice even scuff around this. This is a pretty tough blaze it's on here. This is really not wanting to clean off very well. I think I need a fresh can of brake parts cleaner too. I think it's getting a little, a little low. That's actually coming off pretty well starting to see it shine up again and that's what you're wanting so let me hit it again with this and I'll clean it with a new spot on the sandpaper oh yeah yeah you can really see it it's starting to look like metal again Wipe. Get as much of that off of there as we can. Oh yeah. Look at that difference. 
and you can feel as I'm doing this I can feel spots that are not cleaned off right there I could feel I'm, earlier I felt one right there and what it'll do is when you're breaking it'll do the same thing it'll it'll slip past those spots Got a new spot on my towel here so it almost looked like I had a it spray painted it or something I mean it was just so so much an even smooth surface um, Let me hit this with the wire wheel again. the light and dark areas here. The dark areas are the areas that still has crud on there. I'm trying not to just concentrate in one area though, even though I can see certain areas that are very messed up still. Grab a fresh rag here. Wipe this off. See that's what we're trying to get off right there. Get as much of that off as possible. And if I can get down to the metal in most of the places, the brake pads will scrub off the rest. But I got to get this. Got to get it a little better, I think, still. Feels pretty even. Let's do more sandpaper. I was coordinated with my left hand. see it moving around it's making brown soup out of the uh, brake parts cleaner scrub this off as fast as I can so it doesn't my brake parts cleaner doesn't all evaporate see big difference between when I started and now there's no surprise now to compare the other side there you go see all that all that glaze on there that's what I'm working on this car is only a 2021 and it has 37,000 miles I think on it and it should not be having this problem but it like i said the car sat and they say sitting for a car is one of the worst things that you can do to it i would argue that getting into an accident is much worse but some people say sitting is i can see why they might think that
So I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap this up. Maybe I'll put a little video on the end of it showing. Uh, I guess there's really no point in showing it driving because it's. Uh, I mean, it's just going to drive normal, break normally. So um, if you have any uh, questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. If you look at my other videos, you'll see I answer a lot of questions, make a lot of comments on there. If you, uh, if you like the video, if you found something useful, go ahead and hit like. If uh, it fixes your, your problem, you don't owe me anything except for maybe hit a like and Maybe make a comment. Just tell everybody that it worked for you or didn't work for you or you do it a different way that's better and we'll all learn. But in the meantime, have a good day and subscribe if you feel like it. Thanks.